All right, boys and girls, today we are going to be painting our secondary color um, scarecrows, and we're going to use a double loading uh, method. Now, I've changed, I changed the uh, paint to these little cups. They have little um, lids, and we are not going to mix the lids up. So this is the yellow, this is the blue, put it somewhere safe, and this is the red. Do not mix the colors in the cups. Do not mix the colors in the cups. I need to use them again. So the first thing we're going to do, and you're gonna have water and you're going to have a um, paper towel for cleaning your brush. We're gonna to try to do this quick. So the first thing you wanna start doing, remember we need to make some secondary colors. So perhaps you wanna start by painting some things blue. Notice I am not smashing my brush. That would be bad. I just want to paint the little dress blue. I'll try to get this done quickly. That's where I'm starting. Clean my brush really good lots of water this is not watercolor but you do want to clean your brush really good now i'm going to start doing some double loading or actually i'm just going to put down some yellow and i'm going to make orange how am i going to make orange i'm going to make the face orange here too because i think that would be super cute you can leave areas white just by not painting them um i'm also going to paint this yellow i think this shirt will be why will it be yellow? <coughs> I don't know. <coughs> I'm coughing up a storm here. Notice I am quickly. Now I want to make some orange, and you got to do this quick before it gets dry. Cleaning my brush. I'm going to grab some red. Mix the red with the yellow. Look at that. That's going to make an orangey color. It's a little much on the red. I might have to come back and put some more. I like to use the same color in different places because I kind of find it looks cute. Add some red into that yellow and you're going to find that you are making some orange. I want to lighten that pumpkin up. I'm going to add some more yellow and that's going to make it more of an orangey color. I'm going to leave that face yellow. Maybe I'm going to take blue, put some blue down clean that up add some red notice I'm not fully mixing the color somewhere else I am doing all the mixing and then I'm gonna go back and smooth that out and make the purple get some more red I am NOT also see how my colors are still clean I am NOT mixing those up either cute right clean that up Do, do, do. All right. We'll make a red ribbon there. If I want to make green, I need yellow. Boop, boop. I'm trying to make the background here green too. The hills will be green because I feel like that would be good, right? blue really quick if you if you spend too much time in between you're never gonna get this done and notice wherever the black if you put enough black uh, oil pastel down it makes a good border for your paint so we've got some green hills we're gonna have some green grass here perfect and I'm gonna have a green over here on that Make the so you want to have some secondary colors in there I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna do with this I'm gonna make the fields yellow because I do want some of the colors to stand out one way to do that 
please don't have too much stuff mixing. Also keep in mind, I need to use these colors later. So I need to use them for my fourth grade as well as my other second grades. I do not like to waste art materials. They are expensive. And I don't get any more until next year. So something to keep in mind now. So I wanted to do the Maybe I'll just take red and do this post red. So it looks like we're sitting on the stick. There's our stick for our person. And now we have to figure out a, a background. So I have the hills, the land. The sky cannot be yellow. Um, maybe I'll do a lighter green. Maybe that's the answer. So I'll put down a lot of yellow. This is what I do. I put down blobs. Be careful I don't get it with the purple because if I mix it with the purple, it's going to make a drab brown. All right, clean my brush. Sometimes the sky can be gray or green. I don't want blue because I think the green might have been a bad idea, but we'll find out. More yellow. Eh, not too bad. You can always go over stuff. There we go. You could do blue for the sky too. Uh, I just happen to be doing green. I don't know why. I just decided that green and yellow, like a yellow green, a chartreuse for my sky. So I like this color up here with the more yellow. That's just me. Perhaps you could do that yourself. And that's it. So I have purple. I have some green. Looks like fields. And there you go. There's my scare